Aloha my kako! Today it is Po'a Kahi, which is Monday. Last night was one of the craziest nights that has ever happened to us. Basically, I filmed last night. We were celebrating my cousin's birthdays. There's like a whole bunch of cousins, like four cousins that their birthdays was on May 4th. We were celebrating their birthdays up the street from one of my cousins and that's where the party was. Filmed it, they were, you know, Kani Kapila, we were playing music and we were singing, having a good time. And normally when we get together, all the kids play together. They're either playing outside right where we can see them or they're playing in the house. Last night we were in the garage and we could see the kids through the big window right where the garage is because it's right there. While the kids were inside of the house, no one knows exactly what happened because her and my nephew who's her twin cousin, we call them twin cousins because they're born on the same exact day. Both of them wandered in to one of the other kids rooms. No one knows what happened but my daughter ended up start to cry and she came out of the room and she started to point to the room. She kept pointing to her elbow like this. She just kept pointing over here and crying. Normally it takes a lot for Paulette to cry. She falls off the couch and she hits her head. She doesn't cry that long and usually my nene comforts her when she breastfeeds. She gets comforted and she stops crying right away so it takes a lot for her to be crying. So when she came out she was crying so I fed her nene thinking it would comfort her like it normally does But it wasn't comforting her enough She actually was drinking nene, but then she started to stop and she started to cry still so You can tell she was in a lot of pain because she was crying. She wasn't drinking She kept pointing we're like what happened and we're like where's your awi and she kept pointing to her elbow over here she Just kept crying so we knew something was wrong. We left the party right away went to the ER Everyone didn't think that we would need to take her to the ER she just kind of thought like she might have fell off the bed no one knows it's like it so so bad i things happened in a split second i just feel so bad like me and darren feel so bad really watching her as well as we should have all of our guesses is she fell off of one of the beds and when she fell, she felt kind of funny. She ended up falling and hitting her arm and her elbow. So when we took her to the ER last night, had to get an x-ray done. And her x-ray showed that she does have a fractured bone. The bone right over here, like right above your elbow, right above your elbow, that bone, it's fractured. So part of it is split. It's a little broken. So she's in a sling, a splint and a sling. I believe she's going to get a cast. And I'm just... I'm, I just, oh my gosh, I have no more words to say. Darren's got a lot of bones broken before. I've never, never had any bones broken. But Darren had like three broken bones in his whole life. It feels so bad because no one saw what had happened. So we can't say for sure. Like, yeah, she fell off the bed for sure. That's how she fractured her bone. We can't say that. Yeah, that's about it. She's doing pretty well. She's a very strong girl. She handles pain just like me. I take to pain like pretty well. I'm like the type of person, like I said, I don't care about needles. I wanted to go to the doctors for needles specifically when I was younger because I'm just a freaking weirdo. Yeah, she's trying to still do things independently. Like she grabs her toothbrush, she lays it down on the counter with her one hand. She grabs her toothpaste and she's trying to squeeze it onto the toothbrush with her one hand. She's still trying to do things independently. So I know it's not really that much of a bother. The only thing is she does kind of complain about the sling and it being a little painful so we do have to give her pain relievers like Tylenol and Motrin and that's another hard thing because she hates taking medicine she'll spit it out like nothing she hates it she screams she'll spit it out she'll make herself throw up because she doesn't want it so we have to like blow in her face thank god it wasn't anything worse it wasn't anything more than that it was just her fracture I mean fracture bone is still kind of really bad but um I just feel so terribly bad for her Oh, so this is Paulele with her little splint and her little sling. One, two, three. You okay, Tita? You got a wee? Where are we? Over here? Oh. Do we okay? Oh gosh. <laughs> Tita, how are you doing? <laughs> Oh, 
chilling. Aloha my kako. Today it is Po'alua, which is Tuesday. And right now, me and Paolele are in the Target parking lot. And we just came from the doctors. I filmed some of that. So you... That's probably what you just seen already. We had to do a walk-in appointment. Doctors here are a little bit, I don't know, it's just so chaotic. It takes forever to get an appointment. I'm calling to make an appointment and they can't schedule anything. Just told me, okay, you can just do a walk-in. Then I go and do the walk-in, but they're like, okay, we can schedule you to come in at 11.20. It's 8.44. It's not that far away, but still, it's like I want to just get the ball rolling. It's so hash right now. I probably should put on some mascara or something, but I want to get the ball rolling on getting Paulella's cast done. She needs to go to the doctor's, her regular pediatrician, to get a refresh to go to the orthopedic doctor and then she's gonna be getting her cats so it's just frustrating because yesterday she should have went to the doctor and I called but her doctor wasn't in and then this morning I called they just told me to come in to do a walk-in I go and do the walk-in and like okay come back at 11 20 so it's just kind of like chaotic that's how this whole doctor system here is in Hilo and on the big island it's not that great obviously as Oahu what we're so used to my pediatrician on Oahu for the kids I had her since Puolena was born I could call her up any time of the day they would fit me in in that day no joke they would never schedule me for another day they would tell me to come in that's what I loved about their doctors so much that's the one thing I miss about Oahu there's a lot of things I miss about Oahu doctors is one of them especially when it comes to my keiki we're gonna go into Target I'm gonna just do some grocery stuff just get like things that don't need to be refrigerated and sadly I only have one freaking reusable bag I left all the other ones at home. We buy so much reusable bags because of this. Forget them at home, we forget to put them back in the car. And then you buy new ones, and then you unload, and then you just leave them in the house. Pretty soon I'm gonna start giving reusable bags away because that's how much we have. I don't have any makeup on today. I feel pretty lazy. Like, I'm so tired, honestly, still. Because Paul Lele, she's been not sleeping well, obviously. I don't know if I wanna do my makeup or if I just go into Target already. We're eating hash browns and I got the s'mores frap. I'm having some avocado toast for lunch today. I am back home now and I put my hair up because it's such a sunny day. If you've seen the montage on my way home, it's a really sunny day in Hilo and I'm so thankful for the great weather. I wanted to show you guys the things that I bought from Target that's not food related. First thing, troll, love it. I also seen this shirt. It was on clearance for $5 only, it was 50% off. For Paul Lele, 3T. At the bottom is scalloped, only $5.98. Next I got was mommy. this planner. Thank you. Mmm. So, oh no. Uh, I love it so much. It looks like this. Water painted. Like that. That kind of style. That's what it looks like. Am I right? I think. It's just a little pocket planner. So cute. So cute. So cute. I needed a new one because mine is going to actually end soon. This one starts in July. So it's perfect. You know, I'm just prepared next I seen this <laughs> I thought this was so cute it's just super cute and it was three dollars don't 
ask me why I bought this because there's no reason. I got this. It's just super cute. It's photo prop sticks. Pineapple, the main reason why I got it is because the pineapple. It has some flower headbands and some pineapple visors, and pineapple sunglasses, and some lippies. This thing was only $5. Honestly, I don't know why I bought it, but the pineapple. Update on Paulele. How are you doing, Tita? Say hi. Hi. Show everyone your owie. Yeah, you got your owie. We gotta fix it. Her sling keeps kind of shifting. I have to keep adjusting it. Gotta do what you gotta do for my baby boo-oo. I should be expecting a referral call from an orthopedic doctor. So that's good to schedule to put her cast on. I can't believe my baby girl is getting a cast. This is so crazy. I have to continue baking because I have a vending job this Saturday night at a church. So this is my first church vending job like at a church this is my first vending job at a church and this is also my first vending job at night it's a night market so i'm super excited i'm not gonna have the kids come for obvious reasons i need darren to be there with me to help out and we just can't keep track of the kids while they're there so i did ask my mom to babysit but the thing is she said that she might not be here she might be flying to oahu unfortunately same night this past sunday night my auntie had passed away my dad's older sister it is really sad it is sad because her husband did pass away not too long ago but in a way it's kind of comforting because i feel like they're reunited it is sad for my dad it's just pretty sad but that same night that's the same night that paula Lillet also fractured her arm one arm isn't gonna stand in the way of paula Lillet the crazy she still wants to play she's playing near the <laughs> trash can i think it's because she's near me She's just using the one hand. She's kind of uses her other hand too. It doesn't seem to bother her that much. Mommy, look at your children. Oh, good job. And Poloku is almost finished with the Dory and Marlin and Nemo puzzle. Good job, son. The little tongue. Look at the little tongue. Uh-oh. Aloha. Aloha. Wahani okay here. Right, aloha. So I did this when Paula was keep making me annoyed and stepping on it. And it stopped. My baby is not a bit and I did all of this all by myself. Doom, doom, doom. Lele was making me annoying. I'm you at least you try. try. You get your tattoos. Is that the real one? The red girl made me.